what challenges do you think we're going to have with this one? Uh, the fact that it's the size, penciled in deadline of July 31st. Okay, so we got a little over a month. And we know it's not going to go smoothly, but just figuring out how. This is kind of like, to, I mean, not to scale, but scaled down version. Some of these have like all these other things on them. Us having to do that by hand is going to be challenging. And I feel like you had an idea. It's just one or two of those. Yeah. Meet Blair and Shannon, siblings and co-owners of Local Stature. Join them as they navigate the ups and downs of running a laser engraving business together. From creative projects with their laser machines to behind the scenes challenges, they're here to share it all. Don't forget to subscribe and follow along on their journey. We got all our measurements at Malden High School and now we get to finally start working on it today. Okay. Um, I've been like super excited to get started on this all week. Um, when is it doing here? Well, the deadline, it's like a penciled in deadline of July 31st. Okay, so we got a little over a month. Yeah. Barely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, but we still haven't heard, which I feel like it's going to be soon, but still haven't heard that they've painted that wall yet because we can't do anything until they paint that wall. Um, but I think it's, I think they were in that area last week. I mean, so it well, should yeah. be done soon so that we can get in there. So yeah, so now we gotta start cutting stuff so that we yeah, can. So we got measurements, we go ahead and just make at least, yeah, I mean, we're gonna make at least the numbers. Mm -hmm. Knock out this week. And then we also yeah. have to do the sign mm -hmm. and the Maverick head. And so, yeah. yeah and not, start uh, burning the plaques too. It was just one or two of those. Yeah, no, no. I've been like, here, let me show you. <laughs> I've had like this ridiculous system because there is 529 of them oh. that need to be replaced. And so well, I've had this- I thought said 450. I've, yeah, no, it turns out it was 520. She found some that had not even been put up yet. And we've oh. got to redo those too because they need everything to match. Okay. So I've just been taking a, like a bag around with me and it's like to enter. And then when I enter them, I put them in this <laughs> back of of these because I've been having, yeah, but what's funny is like the, you know, we designed it a little bit differently. Your, what? In, your entered bag is so small. <laughs> oh, it's, well, this is this section. Okay, I've done okay. like two, like lots and lots and lots, but like mm -hmm. what's different is, so like we designed it with just pretty much like the name and the class on right. there. And then, but some of these have like all these other things on them. Okay. And so that has been kind of taking up a little bit more time because I'm trying to like make sure that that looks good, keep it as uniform mm. as possible. Right. Cause there's also some that's like in honor of or in memory of, or, right. you know, or they just, or it's like mom and dad were like, we love you. Good job. So proud of you. Yeah, like they yeah, got to yeah, say yeah. all the things. So like just trying to make that look good and line up so that we can just burn whole okay. sheets. Okay. But um, I tested out the, where did that acrylic piece go? Uh, whatever, oh, yeah. Whatever sitting up here I put down there earlier. So we got a sample. I ordered a sample piece of what we're going to um, use. And so then I was just kind of going through the settings of what is the most clear, but also like as fast as possible. Okay. Because, um, you it's know, we have a lot to do. So it's going to be like seven to eight sheets that we're going to have to burn. And I think once I figured out the setting, um, and kind of calculated all that. It was going to be 40 hours of burning. So it's going to take a little minute, which I don't think we need, like if it comes down to it, I, we probably still could get it done, but if it comes down to it and we don't have them all done by the 31st, I think that's okay. As long as we have a good bit done to for them to go ahead and place in there. Yeah. Cause the reason why she had the, the date uh -huh. July 31st is because the next week, they're going to start like the open houses and all that stuff. And gotcha. she's going to start promoting the selling of oh, the yeah, blacks yeah, yeah, yeah. to so people. She so she wants it up there. So when everybody comes in, cause everything's going to be happening in that cafeteria, in that room. Okay. So, um, that way she can, you know, start making money off of it, making money back well, and making money off of it. So. Yeah. I mean, putting orders. Yeah. When you walk into the, you know, the, the school itself, you kind of come through right at the front office, which is slash the, the cafeteria and then there's like the the main kind of walk through hallway and you've got the library and they've got this this massive wall that's yeah. the first thing you see yeah and so they just want to kind of like a really bold statement 
um, piece right there. They had had somebody come in and do a mural off to the right where the kids walk through, mm -hmm. and it is awesome. So they're kind of wanting to just eventually each hallway they're going to start adding and redoing the school. And since they repainted yeah. it, now we get a fresh yeah. wall. So we decided, you know, we're going to do the school was uh, built in 1973. So we're going to do this massive, literally number 1973, kind of your collegiate font. And then we're going to put uh, uh, Maverick Pride and then have the Maverick head off to the left of it. And so this thing is, mm -hmm. what, what do we say, eight foot by 20, like the whole wall is 26 foot yeah. wide roughly. Mm -hmm. And so like the, the numbers are like roughly four, four by, by eight. eight. I know the Maverick head is like five feet wide. Yeah, so it's going to be <laughs> pretty big. Yeah, so yeah. Um, we, we've got a lot of work to do. This is kind of like, to, I mean, not to scale, but scaled down version. So this would be like, <clears throat> do have a Maverick what it would look, yeah, it's right here. I fell in the, oh. um, the only difference would be I had to paint this orange. And so like the outsides of it will actually not be orange but the tiles will be orange um and so this will kind of be like what it looks like once it's completely filled with all the plaques but the background will look like this and then there will be another layer on top with the with the plaques kind of inset into it since we don't have much uh room oh, in here twisted. shannon got the bright idea of removing everything from the table and sticking our plywood on here to get yeah. get it out of the way and then you flipped and and i was so happy to hear because you flipped this piece over so that if we scratched it wasn't going to be the good side you got to figure out um the cutting of the actual numbers themselves we may have to do manually mm -hmm. and then yeah, but yeah. There's, there's that honeycomb that um you kind of came up with um in the middle of the numbers to where we put these uh, orange placards and snap in and so it, it looks just it looks purposeful it looks very unique it looks very clean um, and then they can replace what plaques they had with the new design and then we can also do an accurate count mm -hmm. of what they've got left so they can promote and sell those over you know the next I guess year or two yeah <clears throat> and so I think you know it's, it's gonna look awesome I know I know so, I'm, I'm excited about it. Yeah. And actually, I think you came up with like the grid and the honeycomb part. Uh, who knows? Yeah. I, I think know. you came up with that idea. And then um, we had to just use a few different designs for the. What? I came up with the honeycomb, but you guys came up with the new, uh, like, the upgrade. Or the design of the, the plaque. The plaque, which yeah. makes it look so much more modern and awesome. It does look awesome. That would be that would be Matt doing that with the, having that idea with the Mav head, like the half Mav head. Yeah, that thing looks yeah. killer. But, um, but yeah, so we just like got in the light burn, created everything, designed it all, and then um, had to end up doing like a small mock because, or like a, a small mm. version of it because we were trying to figure out because <laughs> once they realized they wanted it to say Mav Pride and she thought she wanted to say it above, it was like, well, that one's broken. That's not going to fit right. with our letters or their numbers. And so we just decided to like move it around. We had one idea. Right. Once we put that into the program, it was like, I don't know if that's going to be the best. And so then we kind of had to like play around with it and then print like print out a mini version just to give yeah. us an idea of what it's going to look like and then to send them to. Yeah, which I think looks good. Yeah, I know. I was like, oh, I can I kind of like the mini version of it too. <laughs> I'm just, and so, yeah, we're going to do a pass through because this, Mav head is like five feet wide. Nice. And I, I know I'm like so excited about it. <laughs> so what challenges do you think we're going to have with this one? Uh, the fact that it's the size, um, since we're not going to be able to cut out the back piece of the numbers on our machine due to the size, us having to do that by hand is going to be challenging. And I feel like you had an idea and what was it? You were going to get it printed, get the numbers. Yeah, so I mean, it's for, it's four by eight sheets of plywood, I can go to a print shop and get a, just literally send them a PDF file of our numbers. Uh -huh. And they can print out a four foot wide sheet of paper on a roll at eight foot long. Yeah. And we can literally come over here and tape it down and just trace it. Mm -hmm. And then just cut it out hand cut, by hand. Just cut yeah. it out by hand. I think, know. yeah. And Do then that, for the grid part, would we'll puzzle piece it together? Yeah, so that's gonna be the that fun part. So we're gonna do a little bit of pass through or we can yeah. do it because we've got, 
40 inches by 24, roughly, mm -hmm. uh, working space. So, yeah, we're going to be doing a pass through. Mm -hmm. I have to do Again, it. Again, so. yeah. And then trying to piece it together because it is very small. It's a quarter inch in between each in be box. Yes, thank you. I was like, what am I trying to say? Yeah. Um, Mesh. So that's mm -hmm. going to be the challenge. It to is going to be a challenge. To but since that's the top layer, even if there are cuts in it, it can be glued to the main number and hopefully right. looks. Well, well, it's all it's all dark stained wood. Mm -hmm. You're not going to notice unless you walk up and you're looking for it. Yeah. You're not going to notice that. Yeah. So and then when you start having orange pops, it'll go away. Yeah. I just want to make sure it's glued really, really good. Mm -hmm. Oh, to the wall. <laughs> to the wall. Yeah. Because book bags, you know a book bag's going to brush this thing or two yeah. and hit it. Shove something in the wall. Somebody's going to shove something <laughs> in the wall. Yeah. But, yeah. Oh, yeah. And you got a new, you got us a new toy because I, I thought about the uh, 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 a laser level yeah. would be helpful with this project, especially. We needed that period just for different projects but i was like oh this is really going to help that and you found one with the green light with for your green light, <laughs> so, so you can see it so i can see you have it a hard time seeing clear, red light clearly on the wall so yeah we tested it out so and yeah. i think that's awesome and so that'll be that'll help us just kind of line everything up and then we'll, yeah. we'll get there and just tape everything off and then mm -hmm. um these are heavier sheets than the frame i did at the other school and so that's another thing i'm gonna have to research and do maybe some better type wall adhesive oh then the yeah. liquid nail yeah it's just it felt like it was just it was too thin and so as soon as i stuck it up it would just slowly just the weight would pull it and so now i'm like okay i gotta come up with some oh to like keep hold it up there till it till it cures, cures. yeah so either. didn't you say then you have an idea of like I mean, and what they do with uh, like building stuff is like the two by fours or like something like Lined a. up against, I could do yeah. that. Just do like a su suction cut base at the floor mm -hmm. onto the tile with some two by fours something, with yeah. some sheets and build something to press it. Whew, yeah, that sounds like a lot of work too. <laughs> it just is what it is. Yeah, I just want to be. Yeah, I know because like this is one of this is probably like one of our biggest like school commission projects. So I it's think like this a, is our largest. Yeah, so it's just a lot. Date. Yeah, it is. So, so it's just like a lot of planning. And I want it to go smoothly because I want to promote it for other schools. Correct. Now we know it's not going to go smoothly, but just figuring <laughs> out how to, <laughs> how to, uh, the Smith curse. Yeah. Correct the issues and keep moving and, yeah. and get the final result. <laughs> cool. The thing about this project, it's just stain. There's no paint. Yeah. No, there's paint. There's orange paint. Damn, there is orange paint. Mm -hmm. My bad. Um, just, I mean, not just for the map head and yeah. the Maverick Pride letters. Because one of the issues working in a garage mm -hmm. is Painting. dust. Yeah, dust and paint. Yeah, and so, so yeah. And we found out that our you know our trial and error. We like you know sometimes you can brush, sometimes you can roll. I like spraying. Spray the best. just looks yeah. so clean. It looks just so crisp. Yeah. Um, in the middle of all this, I'm going to try to clean out a section over there and make a paint booth. Okay. That'd be awesome. Um, I know. Cause that is like our biggest to kind of give us something better issue. Um, I yeah. think that's kind of the next thing. Um, the shop needs mm -hmm. the paint booth. I wouldn't mind upgrading, you know, maybe the air assist and we need some more plugins. So we got some things we need to kind of consider, mm -hmm. um, growing paints. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the paint booth, because like I said, like I said we, we got a little bit of paint to do, but most of it stains, so we don't have to really worry about that the most. Mm -hmm. Um, I think we can kind of limp through this one. Um, but I know we got some other things coming up that we're going to definitely have to have some pretty good paint and it's kind of repetition stuff. Right. Yeah. 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 This one's going to be, it would even be hard with the paint booth just because. The, so big. The, so yeah, the scale of it. So we'll just have to pray for a non-windy day. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Because I remember when we were doing, what were we doing? Oh, when we made all the M, the letter, the door uh, it decals. About, it was, it was this time. It, it was yes, hot. And it was hot and it was windy and like crap was just flying into and it all. Every, Bugs were flying and into every it. bug was like, that smells delicious. Yeah. And it's bright and it's beautiful because yeah, it, it was orange. It was orange and they wanted to check it out. So yeah. It was a nightmare. Bugs so yeah. that's another thing we're gonna have to worry about. Yeah. Um, 
Other than that, we'll like I said, let me, I, I need to go to a print shop. And, yeah. And probably, and honestly, just like an office depot or. Yeah, Staples or. Yeah, something like that and see if they can just print out some. Yeah, some cause I feel like we definitely need to like work on that. Like I know that means we'd have to store those, but I feel like that's going to be the most challenging because the rest of it is literally like it's in the design you do this and you're good yeah. to go you know yeah that would literally like <laughs> to it's in the know, program we could literally just build the numbers and stack them on top of each other with nothing but cardboard in between to prefer protection okay have them ready so they're like hey walls are done mm -hmm. we can go out there and do the measurements and go ahead and get the numbers lined up, up. yeah mark it off with tape come in put those while those are drying come back and do the molded maverick head and the maverick pride sign, sign. slap it up take okay. the other stuff down and so yeah i mean I like you, that it, it, you know you kind of want to just you know spend one day doing it all but if we can't do it in just one day we can bring it up to two i mean it's right down the road or something yeah know? i don't mind yeah i don't and mind I breaking can, it I up i can get access pretty much mm -hmm. anytime except you know, probably Sundays. Yeah, but I think Christine would be happy to yeah. come, you know, meet us up there, which okay. I feel like there's somebody up there Monday through Thursday. There is. Yeah. We always, okay. we always have a principal and a secretary. Okay, cool. So, and I know right. the secretary very well. She's super sweet. Oh, okay. Miss sweet. Miss Mary, Mary is awesome. Sweet. Um, yeah, I'm Ms. so Mary. excited Ms. to get started. So yes. let's, let's figure this out. Okay, cool. <laughs>